How's it going today guys? Trish and Water here. I'm starting this vlog out on Sunday. I didn't film anything yesterday on Saturday. I didn't film much today on Sunday because there's nothing really much going on with trucks related or anything. And I kind of took a break this weekend to regather and stuff like that. But anyways, I went down to Fox Toyota with my girlfriend earlier. Just to look around see if there's in new, any new inventory. And they have two new trucks that I'm curious about. This one in very particular. It is a... I think the way the taillights are shaped and the way the front end is, I believe it's an 07.5 to 20, uh, to 07.5 to 2009 Ram 2500 Cummins 67 diesel. Um, it is very, very clean for the year. It doesn't have that many blemishes, of course, for the headlights that are faded, which you can get those replaced easily. The chrome looks really good. The front doesn't have any rock chips or anything in it. Same thing with this side. No rust in the fender wheels or the back ones on these third gens rust really bad in the back. Already set up with a 16,000 pound, 16, pound gooseneck in the bed. Um, with a big horn. Uh, it's a big horn edition, 4x4 of course. Um, it's the blue tech diesel. Which I'm not sure what that is. So if y'all want to comment down below what blue tech diesel means, I don't know what that really means, honestly. So comment that down below. It looks like the rear taillights look like they're newer, like factory new. Um, and I mean, it's clean. I mean, before DEF, so it does have the EGR on emissions, but it's not a DEF truck. The interior on it's really, really freaking clean. I mean, for the interior on this truck, it is stupid clean. Um, of course the grandpa has to be coming off if i so if i got it and whatnot but this is almost a perfect setup for like a tow rig for like my truck right there um it's got already got window tint and everything like that but it's a clean truck i mean underneath this grand very crawl up underneath it it's a very very clean truck so i'm very interested in this my test drive this tomorrow actually after work so we'll see about that the other truck i'm interested in is of course this chevy 2500 high country edition with the earth i think they call it the earth leather interior with the brown very clean truck got all all the bells and whistles on this truck it looks like a bone stock truck um this is also looks like a recent train doesn't have a thing for it so looking at that it's very clean very nice um looks like a really good looking truck with the tow mirrors already on it color matched with the front bumper and the rear bumper color matched very natural but probably out of way out of my price range but you know it's a clean truck with a bed liner so hmm got some stuff i need to test drive all right guys so it's currently monday um i'm probably actually gonna go test drive a truck here in a second but anyways i'm trying to look for these nuts right here for my side markers on my grill i i could reuse my old ones but they're all crusty and corroded when we ripped them off anyway so i don't want to reuse them again so i'm trying to find these o'reilly's didn't have it so i'm gonna head over to advance and see if they have if not i'm gonna have to order them online which i really don't want to do but we'll see but uh but yeah so it's gonna be interesting monday advance actually had these right here which have three of the ones i need so i'm gonna see if that works and then hopefully reuse an old one it's still good but if not i'll come back get like another pack or something like that but We'll see where it goes from there. So I found those, so I'm happy about that. So now it's good time to test drive truck. Today is Tuesday. Right now, you see the hood popped on the K1500. I am ripping off the front grill again. Why, you might be asking? Well, this is the reason why over here. I got in smoked lenses, turn signal lenses, and corner lights for the truck. That's right, guys. They are finally in. You all have been recommending these to me excuse me all the time so i finally got some for the truck we're gonna rip off this front end redo all that put it back on so let's get right to it first step into removing the grill guys if you don't know you gotta take off your uh, turn signal lenses then you got some bolts that are run around through here you take them off and then you can pull this off after you take out the you get the turn signal lights out there's two bolts one right here one right here same on the other side to hold this grill back you got one in the middle right here one else in the middle up here and then you got um one two three four along the top so take those out and you can take the grill out and start working on your lights and stuff also the size of these bolts in a socket it's an it's a, a nine thirty second and 
if you can get a pack of these mini um, wrenches and stuff, these are a lifesaver. And what fits that is a seven millimeter open end. So, or closed, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're going to use to take it off. Okay, guys, so once you get all the bolts out of the grill, what you want to do is you really want two people for this. You can do it yourself. You got some clips, some tabs that hold also into the body. One over here, here, and there. And then you kind of want to lift up and pull out, if that makes any sense. That's the best way to put these and vice versa, put it back in. Best way to kind of get these grills out that I've done. So we're going to do that real quick and we'll get it out and start putting the new lights on. I didn't film all of me putting the grill back together because there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube on how to put these grills back together. But introducing the new headlight, directional light, and side corner light. So look at that that looks freaking menacing oh i love it so much i mean it i mean it looks the lights i i've already kind of i mean of course you know it's not really dark out i've already had the headlights flipped on there's no difference in the clear ones versus these the way like they project so this was the right choice i should have done this when i did the front end swap but i didn't have time number one didn't know if i wanted to do it number two but I'm so glad I did it now. Like, that just looks phenomenal. Oh, that looks so good. And it's DOT approved, still so got the orange reflector and stuff like that in it. So, don't worry about the cops or anything like that. But that rolling down the road will look so damn menacing. With that, the blacked out front end, and of course, then the tent, it just looks so daggum menacing going down the road. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. This looks so good. All right, so it's currently now Wednesday. Getting the truck finally washed. This pollen and everything is just killing vehicles with all the crap and the bugs now and everything. So, got my stuff out. Get my phone camera ready. Of course, using Chemical Guys Honeydew Other Snow Shampoo. Can't go wrong with that. With my phone can and pressure washer. Get this truck cleaned up real quick. Oh, I don't drop it. Um... But yeah, so we're getting the truck washed and then might do a photo shoot, a little photo shoot tonight. I'm not sure yet, depending on time and when the sun goes down and stuff like that. But we'll see how, where that goes. Yep, here's the final product. Well, I take that back. I got one more thing. I got to do the front end to make it 100% the way I wanted, but that is 95% of what the front end is going to look like. Oh, I love it so much. Those those smoke mirror lenses make the world of difference on this truck. I can't be any more happier with them than I am right now with it. Um, so let me know what y'all think about the new front end or and how the the lens look. i think the truck looks mean as hell now completely with this new front end i mean god bless that thing looks mean and um it doesn't i mean i drove it around like going to work for the first time and drove it around of course the other uh the other night when i put the lenses on it and the the dimness or anything like that of the how bright the lights are 
there's no difference. I mean, it looks like it, it, the light to me seems like it's like the exact same style of lumens coming out of it. It's not been did right through the smoke line lenses, which I was afraid of when I bought them, but I'm really, really glad I did. Everybody that's seen it so far loves it, loves the way it looks, and um, it just complements the truck so, so well with its new front end. And they are DOT approved, like I said before in the video, because of this, um, the side marker's got the reflector still in it. But um, other than that, guys, I mean, I freaking love it. Absolutely freaking uh, love it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Join the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing, changing, and trying new and better things. I hope you all like this video. If you like the video, leave a like. You know, comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, make sure you also follow me on Instagram because the link is always down in the description. The link to these headlights will be down in the description also if you want them for your OBS Chevy. Um, other than that, guys, thank you all so much for the recent support. Everything, you all are the best. I can't thank you enough for that. All your support, love, kindness, everything. It means the world to me. I have the best fan base on YouTube and Instagram. I know that for a fact, so I can't thank you all enough for that. So other than that, guys, I hope you all have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.